Welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Ooh. We also have brought back everyone's favorite segment because two of you complained <laughs> that we stopped doing the drink of the day. It's a lot harder than you'd think. Especially when we To forget. find new drinks. Yeah. I mean, Especially- everyone, you're sending in your suggestions, but I'm forgetting them. I'm not going to lie to you. And I don't care. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, we did the same drinks two week- days in- two weeks in a row, and then last week we just forgot yeah we were also had just come back from vegas so yeah. i was like not forgive a real person. us yeah. yeah we've been jet setting <laughs> so this week we're doing we're gonna share this one another ollie pop it's the orange squeeze wasn't there Hopefully a grape one better. there was but i think i'm telling you i think daddy drank it that annoys me like more than it should <laughs> He's the only one who goes to my my fridge and drinks. I know he kind of comes over to my house and he goes, "Do you have any drinks in there?" I'm all, "Drink the water." That's where we get our desire for a fun drink. Yeah, that's where we get that's it from. My dad. Yeah, so we're trying another Olipop. Listen, the root beer one was not very good, so we're gonna move on. Not so much. I don't like that orange squeeze. I'll take the orange soda, please. There's like an aftertaste that tastes like butt. <gasps> I don't hate that. It's better than root beer. I mean, anything like water tastes better than the root beer. It kind of, hold on. There's like flowers or something at the end of it. And I don't like that. Uh, yeah. It is a little fragrant, I would say. Is there one that doesn't suck? Please tell Please us. Please let us know. We had those one. Yeah. Were those yeah. Olipops? Did we make that up? <laughs> I'm starting to think we did. <laughs> no i no i think they were i think we just have been picking poor flavors yeah i don't really love anything orange anyways i thought because orange soda is like pretty okay. good yeah. standard so i thought that would taste good it doesn't it tastes like orange orange tastes, like lemongrass or yeah something. it tastes yeah it tastes like how a jamba juice smells yeah when that's you go in tastes. yeah yeah that's how it tastes not any other smoothie place what's just a jamba juice what's the grass stuff that they people wheat grass like? shots i was gonna say cat grass that's why i asked what it is <laughs> <laughs> good thing you asked that would have been embarrassing yeah it tastes like oranges and wheat grass yeah it literally tastes like how a jamba juice smells when you go in it's like very not citrus, a juice it up very citrusy but also like plants you and then I mean? kind of like lemon pledge or something you yeah. know um out of 10 i'd give that a, like a four mm, that's mean yep a four i give it a five it's not terrible it's not the root beer one was like bad honestly i think i liked the root beer one more than that really it's just something about a creamy butt aftertaste i can't creamy get behind ass. i just can't get behind it you know <laughs> <laughs> anyways anyways also this is off topic but not really but i thought of it because i'm wearing my uggs but Dayson said she was gonna buy some today. Oh, the Ugg slides. Yeah, the ones that you. I know, but me. I was going to. But they're I was slippers. Like, I just bought those other Uggs, so it feels like I don't need. Well, are they tug. slippers? No, they're like mini boots. Well, then there you go. Okay, that's your excuse. I told her to get them because I waffled between getting the ones I have now and those ones, and I think that those ones would suit you well. Okay. And I just—they're just the best house shoe in the world. Especially as it gets colder. I just always get worried having shoes in my house because YB likes to make bread on all of them. Like mostly the Crocs is what he goes to town on. Dude, Squid, literally, he puts his whole head inside this and just licks the fur. Ew. Yeah, I know. He's disgusting. I know. And then Henry will nurse on the fur. So <laughs> what a mess. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's it. I literally catch him with his whole head inside here. Both my cats are Geminis. So is Squid. Yeah. Squid's also Gemini, Gemini. men. They're very prevalent in our lives in the pet form um okay so for this week's episode we asked you all to send in your favorite vine slash tiktok references one of you actually suggested this i can't remember who it was yeah you did i saw it and i remember thinking that's a great one yeah because yeah. we do so many of them we have on so here. many the chicken salad one's probably the one that's in it's here the chicken most. salad and um yeah chicken salad see like that's a great one but it's also a popular one yeah like i want to take a pic yeah. is one that nobody or like that's piss <laughs> have you guys heard that one <laughs> do you guys and then for everyone we do i'm gonna put the video in here so someone dm me and ask me please help me find i want to take this do you guys want to know how i find sounds because i'll watch one and then i'll like it and then it'll populate all the videos me that too have that sound. same right so when I was explaining I want to take a pic to Drew, I didn't know the original video. So I literally, you just type the name of the sound. I want to take, I want a, to take pic, a pic. Yeah. And that's how I found it. I do that all the time, How too. about 400 boxes? Okay. 
I want to take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> so that one, that's piss. I'll put that one in yeah. here. That's literally like, <laughs> how do you describe no, this? No, what would, how, like, how would you name this slime without using the word yellow or lemon? Yeah. And he's all, that's piss. <laughs> and it's it's a picture dog. of like a dog that was so ugly. <laughs> and it's just going, that's piss. <laughs> or I don't, you know what? That's the whole thing. That's sound. the whole thing, yeah. The, those are my favorite kinds of sounds because then Dason and I, like the way our brains are wired, like that's all I'll think about. Yeah. And any chance I get to bring that up or like make it fit, yeah. I make it fit. A good callback joke. They'll be like, what is that? I'll be like, that's fit. <laughs> so fucking loud, dude. <laughs> another one. That's how it feels to listen to the video. That's another shocking. one I was thinking of is one time I was helping Drew put her necklaces on. I was like, oh, you got so many necklaces. And she didn't know what that was from. Once you describe, it's just the way you say it. Like, she says it to me in an accent that is not the way that it's said in the video. Yeah, it is. But it's just like you say it in your own special way. It's literally Earl Sweatshirt. I know. Like, once, you, so once, many necklace. once you explained it to me, I was like, okay, yeah, I do know the sound. But, like, it's the way you, you say it in your own accent, and I don't know what you're talking about. Well, also, our For You pages aren't always the same, as much as I would well, that's, like that. Well, that was yeah. the case with I Want to Take a Pick. I've never yeah. seen that one. But the that Why You Got So Many Necklace, I've seen those. Yeah. But it's just the way she'll tell me it. She'll say it, and then she'll be laughing, and she goes, you know? You know that one? And I go, what? And she goes, you know that one? That one video? You know. And then I go, what are you saying? And she goes, the sound on TikTok. And then she'll look it up and I'll be like, oh, okay, yeah. But she does this back and forth with me <laughs> for 40 seconds going, you know. You know the you one. You know the one. You know the one. Um, disgusting. That one's in here a lot. Drew does that one a lot. Disgusting, yeah. Um, the one that we do all the time from Vine is Epcot Ball. Yeah. That's one of our pretty, favorite ones. The prettiest girl at school is. The Epcot Ball. And then um, what was the other one? I'm scared. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> you know who's in here a lot is uh, Brittany Broski. Oh, yeah. Do you have? I have a favorite video of hers. Do you have one? Of Brittany's? Yeah. I honestly couldn't tell you because she's just constantly making me so laugh. So funny. She's, Did y'all see my cooter? Did you see that one? She's yeah, I've seen, that. <laughs> I've seen that one. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Are what what are some of the ones in there? They just say, like, everything she does is so funny. My, That's true. My favorite Britney... Well, I have a few of them, but one of my favorite Britney videos is um, she was playing this, like, silly song in the background. I don't know how to describe it. It's the one where she said cartoon She's characters. like, don't I look like I'm in an old cartoon, like, walking? <laughs> I commented so on that one. So funny, dude. I think I wrote, like, nailed it. So funny. Okay. This one's from Maya. She said, take them titties out because I'm trying to see I make that joke all the time. Yeah, take them titties out because I'm trying to see them. Me and Dason say that to each other. She also time. said that fun fact, her cousin made the original video. No way. That's pretty cool. Love that. Man, what's it feel like to be related to a ledge? Huh. This I one's from that. Vanessa. And she put the vine where that girl goes, hello, when they pour the oh, water. Oh, when they pour the water on her head. We quote that one a lot. Or the hello. whoa, when that guy does like a <laughs> And they club. were roommates. That one's in here a lot. That's that's a good one. Let me see. Oh, my God, they were roommates. This one's from Sophia. I don't know if you have this sound on your For You page, but she's like, as of right now, my, her, it's from TikTok, mm -hmm. and it's, but the rats don't run this city. Yeah, I've seen that one. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Yeah, the rats are gonna be so disappointed. <laughs> but the rats don't run this city. Do you know what that's we from? Do. Uh, I think I looked it up, but I can't remember. It's a lady like at a press conference. Like, <laughs> <laughs> is she talking about literal rats? I think so. <laughs> that makes it even funnier. <laughs> yeah, chicken salad is in here quite a bit. It's a chicken salad. I will say that I think it's uh funnier. When I see people who can't stop saying it and then their loved ones being like, please stop. Yeah, those are funny. That's funnier um, at this point because the, the sound is so popular right now. Oh, my God. This one's from Bella. This is one of my favorite TikTok accounts. And so she said, one of my favorite TikTok sounds is the little girl named Lena. You know, her mom. Yeah. Her mom posts videos of her. And it's when. I think we're mutuals. Oh, OK. Yeah. Yeah. And the mom. She asks her mom to take a picture of her. Remember when she's like, here, let me sit in your lap and take a picture. Yeah, of yeah, that is her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that video her. is so funny. So fucking cute. So funny. Iconic. 
Oh yeah, Gabrielle has. Why the frick did Kiss <laughs> Ross punch Chris Ross in the penis? <laughs> in the penis. Okay. I still don't get that. I get it, but I don't get it. I think she's just making fun of the way that girl was saying it. Oh, okay. Because I've only yeah, because I've only ever seen it that part being of it? used. No, I've only ever seen it being used in regards to other things. Oh no, so it's so she stitched someone actually talking about that. Yeah, she stitched someone and said, "Okay, why the frick did Chris Rock get slapped by Will Smith?" And then she stitched him. <laughs> okay. okay, that makes it funnier. <laughs> Because I've only ever seen that audio being She's used like, in other. Why the freak? Like, her face is so funny, dude. Dude, this is what I will say. If you want to like, <laughs> if you want to get roasted alive, you should do shit like that on TikTok. Because the way that TikTok comments will eat people yeah. up, like they are so arguably funnier than the video so, sometimes. Oh yeah, so fucking mean on TikTok. Like, <laughs> and I'm not talking like hate. I'm talking about the way they like literally eat you up with like the <laughs> like I'll put this video in there, but I sent you this video of this kid where he's walking three Rottweilers at the park. Oh my god! And he's screaming, and I think it's to alert other people like pick up your dogs, like because he's like they're not trained. But he's like the way he's holding them, he's the, going ah, yeah. help me. The dogs look like a. Uh, fluffy from the first harry potter yeah and someone said that he looked like in spider-man 2 when he's holding the train (laughs) (laughs) it's just the way they don't take you seriously like when you do (laughs) like in your video where (laughs) the one where they made that parts of the caribbean Dude, when I made that video, everybody knows. The one where I said that guy looked dead <laughs> and someone said it's giving part of the crew part of the ship. I'm not even, I'm, this is not a joke. I laughed so loud I scared Billy and then I kept laughing so hard I started crying. Like, I was laughing you, so fucking hard. You will hard. never make anything funnier than that joke. No, That's the like, funniest thing they, I've ever They seen. really, like, you got me on that one. Like, that, I give that to you because I wish I fucking thought of that. Plus, I love Pirates of the Caribbean, like, the series. Like, I love those, I loved those movies when I was a kid. Oh, my God, So, dude. like, Dude, it's giving part of the group part of the shit. <laughs> Holy fuck, bro. Holy shit, that's so funny. No, I was thinking of... Um, fuck, I thought of one. <laughs> oh, the one where that girl... You sent it to me. Um, and then I saw it on other people's stories, too, so it was weird. But um, it was the one <laughs> where she's like, uh, watch me get violently humbled when I'm trying to show off my new jacket. You know, she's like walking backwards <laughs> and she eats shit in that in the planner, planner and then she gets up really, really calmly and then comes out. She's like, <laughs> okay, there's a comment in there that was like, and no one walked by girl, go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> she's in New York. <laughs> to like see her be humiliated yeah. like that, dude. Yeah, That's dude. so funny. They're like, and no one walked by girl, go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> Holy shit, that was so funny. Oh my god. Oh, another song we've been doing a lot is You Want Me to Serve Cunt? Tonight? I love Ricky. He makes me laugh so much. I adore him. He is so funny. Um, this one's from Christina. She put a few in here. Yeah, she said TikTok any Britney Broski skit. All of her skits are funny. So funny. Um, but from Vine, she put the guy standing in the bleachers at a football stadium who says, What's better than this? Just guys <laughs> being dudes. Drew that's, says that all the that's time. That's one of me and Billy's favorite ones is just guys being dudes because it's so applicable to any group of straight men yeah out in the wild it's just so applicable to them that's what makes it funny yeah and they were roommates that one's in here quite a and bit they were roommates. someone put the corn kid i loved the corn kid i loved him not for quote reasons i just like thought he was the cutest thing in the world i can't think of a more beautiful thing <laughs> it's cool on and he's like what that I song Made me so mad. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Yeah, it killed it for me. But the way that he was like, when I first heard of corn. <laughs> the first time I ever heard of corn. So fucking cute. Fuck off, Janet. I'm not going to your fucking baby shower. <laughs> that guy came out with a lot of funny quotes. Yeah. What's worse than this? A child. <laughs> a child. He's like, no, no. <laughs> oh, so Joelle, she put the TikTok of Britney where she throws up her brain and eats it up again. I saved that one. That one made me laugh really hard when she pretends to be an alien. <laughs> i wish i wish that you all could at some point like 
hang out with Brittany in real life because like she is just as funny, if not funnier in real life. Like easily. Yeah. She is unbelievably funny. It's honestly offensive to me. Mm -hmm. So like she's literally like that. Like, you know, sometimes people are like, no, they're probably not like it. No, Mm -hmm. she's like that. Yeah. Yeah, Like she's absolutely like that. It's so funny. She's the best. Well, uh, Anna put two Sarah shower vines in here. So the first one is how's the weather for outdoor seating? And then she goes, you came in from the outside. (laughs) And the other one is, I need to cry, but my foundation is $48. I remember that one. That's a iconic one. Sarah, too. Sarah Shower is easily one of the funniest people I've ever met yeah. in my life. Like, I can say that with all the conviction in the world. Like, she is so fucking funny. Like, her skits that she does, dude, the and ones that she did. go. Like, I don't know how she thinks that quickly. The it's one that she crazy. did of her squishmallows when she's introducing them. <laughs> <laughs> dude sarah like it, that's why it makes so much sense that um Brittany and sarah connected because they are unbelievably funny in different ways yeah but like their humor at the end of the day is very like cerebral and that's what makes it funny you know what i mean but like sarah showers <laughs> skits that she does like she's i'm your pov i'm your uber driver mm-hmm. dude they fucking kill me when she's like she goes, oh, no, is he sick? Like, her, like your cat, you're taking him to the vet. And she was like, oh, he's peeing out of his butthole. I have that problem, too. Maybe I should sit in on the appointment. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm just kidding. She's like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> she kills me. It's so funny. And she's in costume, so she's like, sorry, it's laundry day. Dude. Um, This one, the some a lot of people put... Whoever threw that piece of paper, your mom's a hoe. That was yeah. funny. That, the, your mom's a hoe, that, your mom's a hoe. That one's funny because you can use it for anything. Yeah. Um, a lot of people put the apparently kid. Apparently. Remember the little ginger kid? Oh, yeah, the dinosaur kid. He loved dinosaurs. I don't remember. But. Yeah, I only remember that because he was on the Ellen show and she yeah. took him to go see dinosaurs. Yes. Yeah. He was with his grandpa all the time. <laughs> Every time he went, every time he went anywhere, he brought his grandpa, which I thought was funny, because they're besties. Oh, someone put it on here. It was one of my favorite vines too. I don't know where it is, but it was um, and that guy's like, I want to be a cowboy, baby. That one was really funny. What's the other one with the girl? And she's like, uh. oh, country boy, well, I, I love, love you. you. Yeah, what the fuck, Richard? That one was really funny. Oh, my God, yeah, throwing the Frisbee. See, it's so crazy how, like, it's crazy to think about how humor has evolved. Yeah. From, like, those really, really short bits to, like, three-minute long videos on TikTok. It's pretty crazy to, like, see the difference because that would, like, I would watch that 50,000 times and laugh every single time. Mm -hmm. And now... I, like, will sit and watch, like, a a two-and-a-half-minute video of someone, like, building up to a joke. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. How it kind of shifts, you know what I mean? No, exactly. Uh, Someone put on here, um, oh, no, I was thinking, remember that girl where she was like, oh, it's Easter, who's at the door? And she opens it and he's like, it's your uncle. (laughs) (laughs) I wonder what they're up to right now. (laughs) Someone put that daddy chill. Which one's <laughs> you that? You haven't seen that sound on TikTok? <laughs> I don't know. If I have. Maybe. <laughs> I'll have to find it then. That's the whole sound. <laughs> daddy chill. Do you see? You watched, <laughs> you watched it in real time. Did you watch her do that? Like she, she says it to me four times and then goes, you know. And then I go, I don't. It's on here. Like, Heather, no. Heather put it on here. I know that, but I'm just saying, like, you guys watched it in real time. And she's like, you know? And I'm like, I don't know if that's, I don't think I've heard that one. Okay. <laughs> the one that, um, I think the jokes are always so funny, but it's an audio is like, okay. Why the fuck do you have to bring that up? Like, the jokes attached to that sound are so funny. Like, Jason sent me one where it's like, when my therapist wants to talk about my crippling self-worth and not my roommate's best friend's Instagram story. (laughs) (laughs) 
dude. <laughs> That's me in therapy. <laughs> I know. I'm fairly new to therapy, so, like, <laughs> you know, like, my therapist really cuts to the chase. Does yours? Yeah, because yeah. she goes, how are you? I go, good. How are you? She goes, good. Well, what did you do this weekend? She goes, nope. <laughs> and I go, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about what you did. And I was like, okay. Well, I'm glad you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine, she goes, how are you? I'm like, I'm good. How are you doing? She goes, good. Um, so how are you feeling lately? I'm like, good. She really builds up slowly. And then she goes, did anything bad happen this week? <laughs> and I go, well, now that you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you brought it up. Yeah. Well, you know which one I thought of? That's, I believe a vine. Okay. Um, it's not that those are my chanclas one. Like that one's funny, but you guys can do better. We know that. But I think it's it's the one where he's like, uh, he has Halloween socks on. And he comes in the room and he goes, hey, Mira. Yeah. To look at his feet. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'd argue that one's funnier than uh, these are my chunklas. Yeah. Emmy Morgan, she put, can you name this slime without using the word lemon? Oh, really? And she put, that's piss. That's funny. Look at you, Emmy. You get us. <laughs> this one's funny. It's from Alexi's. Old. They're in your space, in your area. They can't do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of those like white kids when your mom is mean to you yeah dude that one's funny because it's real <laughs> you know who i saw on tiktok the other day i think i sent you his tiktok but it was that curtis guy yeah leather shirts yeah yeah and he was like talking Devin. About, his name's Devin. he was talking about um <laughs> quitting smoking okay and he was like all right guys day one of me quitting well me me trying to quit well okay maybe less than a pack actually i'm gonna start tomorrow quitting smoking <laughs> like it's like something like that so funny and all the comments are like oh my god i can't believe you're back because he was so big on mine yeah there's yeah. about the uh, the one that's in here a lot from him is when he, evan no devin oh i thought his, his name was evan devin palmer or something like that but they're the white guy with the mustache and the blonde hair. Right? Oh, I'm thinking of leather shirts. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. His name is Evan. Evan, yeah. The guy I'm talking about. But his name was Kurt something or something on Vine. Yes, I forget I what it was. You're talking about. No. It wasn't Curtis. I said Curtis, but it was. They're both Curtis. white kids. But the white kid yeah. I'm talking about has brown hair. Yeah. And he's the one where the mom's like, nope, get on the fridge. Get on the fridge. Oh, he's yeah, like, yeah. This house is a fucking prison. Yeah, yeah. I sent you one of his videos. Oh, Where okay. he's a waiter and he goes, and that one, soup, so do you want that? And they go, yeah. And he goes, okay, Yeah, I do. Salad. Yeah. And yeah. he's like, he's and soups, a hug. Soup salad or a hug from me. He's like, oh, I'll do the soup. He's like, okay. <laughs> what about you? He's like, soup salad or a hug from me. <laughs> he goes, soup. He goes, okay. Well, you can also get another thing from that menu. He goes, <laughs> Okay, the salad, and he goes, "Are you sure?" And he goes, "Do you want me? Do you want a hug?" He goes, "I thought you'd never ask her." I don't remember what he said. Yeah, but no, that guy's name's Devin. That guy's fucking funny. That guy's funny. That's yeah. leather shirt. No, I was thinking, thinking of um Evan. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, so he was like definitely quitting. Well, maybe. Okay, so I'm going to start. Well, less than okay. Tomorrow I'm going to try quitting smoking. <laughs> it was really funny, but all the literally all the comments were like, "Oh my god, I can't believe you're back from Vine." That must be such a strange transition, I'm sure. Yeah, especially if you didn't... Uh, like Sarah. Yeah. Well, well, Sarah did YouTube, though. That's what I'm saying. That's if, true. Especially if you didn't do YouTube or anything like that after. Yeah. I wonder what that's like. Yeah, there's another guy, too, that I think I've seen on... Well, Nick Coletti. I see him on there a lot, too. On TikTok. Oh, yeah. I remember him. No, I was thinking of, um, like, Chris a fish. Yes. Yeah. Chris is... Uh, He's so fucking funny. Yeah, he's uh, my mutual, too, which is, he's unbelievably funny. No, it's, um, I was thinking of, his thing was, like, Getter. It was a white yeah. dude, Ginger. He has a baby now. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he has a daughter. Okay. Yeah, and so, like, he makes TikToks with her. Sometimes I see them. Oh, cool. And it was, like, Yeah, he was really good friends with Nicoletti. They, yeah. They did that bros of whatever show that Cody Co. Simi was Valley. On. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh. I, I'm pretty sure that's his daughter. If not, like, it's, like, his little sister or something. But um, he, like, films TikToks with her. They come on my For You page all the time. Oh, it's really cool. cute. He's still super funny. And if any of these people are problematic, I don't know of it. So don't, don't hold my feet to the flames yeah. in that sense. 
Oh, yeah, Paulina put it. If you fucking put your hands on me again, I'm going to rip your fucking face off, bitch. That's a great one. What's the other one that you just, you just, you just, you just put your hands on a future U.S. Army soldier. I, that is funny because we use that for personal reasons. <laughs> Uh, we always joked though that the kid that was like, if you put your fucking hands on me, I'm going to fucking rip your face off, bitch. We used to say that was Jared. Because <laughs> that's how he was when he was younger. <laughs> and he was like in a bathrobe, you know what I mean? Yelling at his friends. That's a great one. The U.S. Army soldier one we use all the time because it's so funny. I do. I thought you were a Malican. I do that one a lot too. Oh yeah. Dason always says that. Oh, we, the Fajitas. That's a Cody Co reference. Fajitas. Yeah. Yeah. One of my favorite Cody Co, well, like the only Cody Co video I can remember besides Vegeta's is with his friend. I think his name's also Devin. Yeah. Where he's all, cool your jets, man. And then Cody's like, I'm trying, but it's not. And he has like a little airplane in a freezer. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. That made me laugh really hard. Yeah. Sarah Basco was also really great on Vine. Yeah. She had a lot of bangers, a lot of great One Direction ones. Mm -hmm. That's where she thrived. So funny. She was so funny. I. I remember, too, when I first met Sarah and we did our episode together for my show. And I was telling her on the show, I was literally like, girl, I've been rocking with you since Vine days. And she was like, stop. No, you haven't. I go, yeah, I remember when you used to work at the trampoline place. <laughs> and she was like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> she goes, I literally thought, like, when you followed me back, I was like, oh, I can't believe this girl, like, knows who I am. I was like, I've been watching your vlogs since, yeah, like. so fucking funny. Since you lived in Oregon. Like, she's just. She is, and uh, she's another person who's also just as funny in real life as she is yeah. online. Very, very absolutely, sweet. yeah, yeah. Katie put a Chris one in here where he's like Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> the one I remember of Chris from Vine was like that is not correct. Yeah, that's the one I remember. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Oh my gosh. Okay, this video makes me laugh a lot too. This is from Jade. And it's um, Elijah Wood is interviewing, I guess his name's Dominic Monaghan. I don't know anyone's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's all, will you wear wigs? And then, yeah. yeah. And he's like, what? That one? <laughs> he goes, why won't you wear wigs? And it's just him laughing. Yeah, and at the end he just goes, what? <laughs> that one. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one. That one made me, he just starts laughing really yeah. loud. That one made me die laughing when I saw it. I saw it on TikTok. This is from Summer. Adam says this one a lot to her. She's all, perfect, perfect, perfect. Have you seen that on TikTok? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't want to read these anymore. You fucking read these. <laughs> I don't know. And like people, Not her getting mad at me because I don't know like, the reference. People are like, it's like POV. I finally picked a show to watch so I can eat my dinner. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, I just took my bra off and my shoes and whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And It's like, everything is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You haven't seen that one on TikTok? Maybe me and Adam have the same for you page. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think so. It doesn't sound familiar. Do you have a favorite? You know Peyton King on TikTok? Mm hmm Do you have a favorite one of his? Um, I can't remember. I know he's funny. I just can't think of like... I can't think of any quotes. I can only think of him running and shit, which is always funny. And how he always wears those big ass shoes. Yeah, like he wears shoes that are way too big for him. Yeah. I was just about to say that. I can't think of any quotes though. Why is there one in there? She just says literally anything from Peyton King. He's very funny. Yeah, she did put a link. Let me look at it. I think it's really hard to... I think it's really hard to be a sketch comedy person and, like, stay funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like, he's someone who's been really good at it. Core what? <laughs> I remember that part where I think I remember people chopping up the audio when he says, Get over here. I think I remember that part. That's that one's funny. He used that to bully me back in high school for listening to Dua Lipa. <laughs> me. Literally me. Really I fuck funny. with Dua Lipa. Who remembers Dua Lipa when she was doing One Direction covers on YouTube? Who remembers? Just me. That's how I feel when I see the starstruck girl in like the originals. I'm always like, I remember you when you were in starstruck. That's how I feel about Halsey when I remember her writing that cover. Oh my god, of I knew you were trouble. Who remembers? On Tumblr, Tumblr girls, 
Do you remember when she wrote, because people were so angry that Taylor Swift was dating Harry Styles, allegedly, at the time, that she wrote a version of I Knew You Were Trouble, but, like, about her? Yeah, about Taylor Swift. And it went super viral? I remember it so, like, like... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I, re- <laughs> I remember it so well. That's the word that I remember her uh, Tumblr name was 17 black. Cause that was yes, one yes. of Harry's tattoos. Yes. And I, when I see things like that, <laughs> like when I see them thriving as like a regular yeah, celebrity, so cool. I just think to myself, has anyone asked? Let's talk about it. Please, let's talk about it. I just want to know if anyone's asked. Has anyone asked about the Taylor song? Have you ran into Taylor Swift? Have you talked about it? Are they friends now? Did Taylor Swift see it? Oh, my God. I want to know. I'm just, I need the cheese maze so yeah, badly. The people deserve to know. Has Harry seen it? When you met Harry, I'm, I'm sure Halsey has met Harry at some point or another. Like, they, has to, they have to have crossed paths at some point. Mm. Uh, they've been in the business just way too long but like when you did was it weird or was it not because he never saw it please tell me come on i'm dying to know know. i just remember me and dason talking about that and being like oh my god this is so good (laughs) remember and we had to listen to it on tumblr yeah because it obviously like it it wasn't it was just an audio or like a video Mm -hmm. Um, but I just remember being like blown away. I remember yeah. it went super viral. Oh my goodness. That was when our, that was in my prime, like fan fiction reading phase. I liked imagines more than I liked fan fictions. Yeah. Well, cause fan fictions were like so hit or miss. Like sometimes they, you'd spend so much time and you'd be like, ugh. dude, remember that one? There's two fan fictions. I, was I know the one you're going to say. Well, no, I'm not thinking of that one. The Kendall Which Jenner one? one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which I think we've talked about on here before. I don't think we have, dude. No? No, I don't. <laughs> she would discuss it. <laughs> okay. Set the scene. Because I, I, I always goof it. Let's establish that this is a safe space. Yeah. Where we openly talk about reading fan fiction at one point or another, whether it's currently or in the past. Anyways, there was a website that used to have... Well, no, this one was on Tumblr. Yeah. Yeah, this one was on Tumblr. Tumblr had the best ones, if because I'm being they, honest. Because they could put gifts in there of, like, how he's reacting. There, there could be yeah, outfits. I yeah. I just liked them on they Tumblr. They really, like, painted the picture for I've you. Done, I can't tell you. When I was in college, I went through a Wattpad phase where I was obsessed with Callum Hood from Five Seconds of Summer. <laughs> <laughs> That's arguably more embarrassing <laughs> than the fan fiction story, bro. <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> Because no, Tumblr, was in, no, I wasn't into Tumblr anymore by that time. So you were in, had moved on to Wattpad, yeah. is what you're saying? Yeah. What's the other one that people? Because Anna and I had talked a lot about how they read fan fiction a lot. It's like some. I it's forgot. like AOT three or something. Yeah, like AO three. Okay. Yeah, a, but the video they posted of them like, did you see? It's like POV. You're like super deep into your whatever chapter of an AO three fanfic. Yeah, and, and it's like three in the morning, and it's just Anna and I going. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so there. Funny. I've been there with no shame or regret. I've been there. Yeah. I <clears throat> should we have them send in their fanfic if you've ever written a fanfic? I would love that. Or just give me a summary. Yeah. And then we can talk about it. That should <gasps> yes. be our next one. Okay. But I was gonna say about the fan fiction. Yeah. Oh yeah. So but, this was a Tumblr one, but it's like basically What your, year is this? When we found it? Yeah. I was still in college. We both Yeah, were. we both were so it's so like it's, 2014, 2015. Yeah, 2014, okay. 2015. Yeah, because that was still when Tumblr was a big thing. But we, <laughs> like, in the fan fiction, uh, you're the stylist of Kendall Jenner. Yes. And, like, Kendall Jenner is open and honest with you about her relationship with Harry not being real. But there being, like, an immense tension between mm-hmm. you and Harry. And she's, like, basically trying to be a wingman. Yeah. And that's, like, the whole thing is, like, you traveling the world with them and then having to like watch them pretend to be together and then like dying inside then, about yeah, it. Yeah, like behind closed doors, you get to be with him. Yeah, yeah, you get to be with him, but it's like this like. So they put, they yeah. looped in the, when they went on the yacht um, yeah. together. Just like everything that was happening at the time, yeah. they also included into the story. It was juicy. Spicy. And like, I remember, I think we both started reading it at different times. Like, she was reading it before me, and then she had brought it up to me, and I go, the one where she, you're the stylist? <laughs> 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 and 
And she was. That's like, where POVs originated. Yeah, that, that is yeah. true, and that's the evolution of social media because mm-hmm. the POVs were big. Like, imagine um, were imagines on Tumblr, and then like you literally had to imagine it for yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whereas like POVs, you like watch it, like watch someone act it out. That's right when the. The Slytherin, what's his name? Draco Malfoy POVs. Yeah. The Bucky Barnes POVs yeah. on TikTok. I was like, yeah. girl, cool your jets. This is too much for me. Yeah, honestly, they were so well done that I think it would have fucked me up as a kid. <laughs> like if I was why if I was seeing those as a child or yeah. like someone in my prime developmental phase, like that would have fucked me up. So like y'all are soldiers for going through that. What was I gonna say? The other um what were we talking about? Fan fiction that I yeah. was thinking of. It was like your, I think I am like, it's like a POV, but your name is Sumner or something like that. Did you read that one? (laughs) And it's like literally based, like every time they show pictures of her, it's Candace, what's her name? That uh, Oh, from Vampire Diaries? No, from Victoria's Secret, (laughs) the model. Candace Owens, that's not (laughs) right. Nope. Fuck her. Anyways. Nope. Um. And you like, I think start off. Oh, the blonde girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You start off like. I think you're like a PA or something for the One Direction tour, of course, right? Okay. And then I think you're like really good friends with Niall and you're dating, I think it has to be Harry. They would never make you date Liam, but you're dating Harry. (laughs) And then Zane's always mean to you and it's because Zane has a crush on you. So then she starts like secretly sleeping with Zane. Oh, I can't remember. And then she breaks up with Harry and then starts dating Zane, but then Zane would like ignore her and act like... Too cool for her? Yeah. Yeah. So then she's like tired of being with him and then i think she sleeps with niall like that's what it got like kind of crazy that one yeah i wish i remember the name of it guys i loved ones like that like i hated the ones that were so not real like the ones that were like harry's a mafioso and you're you're the daughter of the boss yeah Yeah. you're the daughter of the rival gang like i didn't like those i wanted them to be set in like an in a scenario that I could envision being real. I just started, I didn't finish it. There's this new movie on Hulu called Rosalind. And it's basically this girl, She her cousin is Juliet from Romeo and Juliet. So okay. she initially falls in love with Romeo first, Rosalind. Oh, T. Then, so it's like fanfic? Kind, kind of? of, yeah. I don't know if it's from, you know, yeah, because it's a play. Yeah. Obviously it's fake, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Me yeah. Thinking, I don't know, historically speaking, maybe she did have a cousin. <laughs> but um, It's not real it's, either way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not real. <laughs> but it's it was really funny because she falls in love with him first, and then she's supposed to meet him at a party, the party that they meet that Juliet, Romeo and Juliet meet. Is it set in modern time? No, during oh, okay. that time period. But she, but Rosalind doesn't go to the party, so he meets Juliet and falls in love with her. Oh, and then she's like, I don't know why he's not coming to see me anymore because you know they don't have phones or anything. Yeah, yeah. And then um, she sees him climb into the backyard of her cousin's house, but she doesn't realize her cousin's home. So she's like, Who is he talking to? And it's her cousin. But it's well, really funny. You got to be kind of kind of stupid to not put those stupid that's what together. i thought when i was watching it but speaking of but not really has anyone seen the movie cyrano with peter dinklage did you watch it on a flight to new york back in june like drew <laughs> did he win any awards for it can someone update me no he didn't i can tell you right now I don't <laughs> need to look it up. dude that movie it's pretty good bro remember when one direction they would live stream on whatever website that was i don't remember what it was i remember liam and his friend what was like white guy's name was it when they gave away where they were yeah. staying the w mm-hmm. that's how everyone that's like one of the main things that like let a lot of the fandom know that a lot of people stay at the w yeah uh like big acts i i'm sure it's changed now but like at the time it was like groundbreaking i do remember that Remember, and that's like reminds me of like speaking of quotes, <laughs> like his uh, uh, tweets about the girls running behind the hotel in the snake habitat. Yeah. He's like, didn't you see what I said? There are snakes. Turn back and all. <laughs> What's the video of him singing that you quote all the time? Because <laughs> that's from TikTok too. <laughs> that's my favorite. I literally saved that video because it made me laugh so hard. What is it? In fact, I kept texting it to Brittany. Every time I found another one, I, I would send it to her. It was like, <laughs> you said it was over. <laughs> you said it was over. But my, wait, what is this? But my clothes, clothes say different. It's like, it's like, but your clothes say different on my bedroom floor. And then he goes like this. <laughs> Ha 
Dude, when people, were like, when people were copying him dancing to strip that down where he jumps. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's, ex- that, that's exactly my point right there. That's exactly, that proves my fucking earlier point when I said, like, people on TikTok will make you regret ever being a fucking fool. Like, when he started acting a fucking fool, everyone was like, I've been waiting on this day. Yeah. And they were just unloading the world's most so embarrassing funny. receipts. Like, <laughs> did you watch the- that Frankie Jonas TikTok I sent you where he dressed up as Joe? On the burning up tour, no, but that's hilarious. And then, and then his girlfriend or his friend, she dressed up like Taylor Swift from the, in the three D movie. He is that so funny? That's fuck. Wait, did he wear the gray blazer and a lime green shirt? No, in that part, he's wearing the black shirt that says "Burning Up" and, oh. the, and the like leather vest. Oh, and I'm like, I wonder if that's the real shirt from the tour. It was so funny. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. That is so funny. Oh my god, that's such tea. Do you remember when, well, we remember, but we're old, when the Jonas Brothers were, like, pioneers on YouTube? Like, yeah. they were, like, one of the first, like, modern acts to, like, really utilize social media to, like, mobilize people. That Those the skits is what made us like them even more. Yeah, yeah. like, but I'm saying, like, you know, it's kind of, like, what stirred up most of the hysteria because you got to see them on a very relatable level, which yeah. you could not have accessed prior to Same that. Same with the Miley Mandy show and Demi Exactly, Selena, but they so. all, like, followed suit. It's, yeah. like, it all kind of, you know, unfolded at one after the other. And then, obviously, now, like, people, you know, acts use social media all the time. But, like, they would make these, like, crazy skits all the time. Those of you who remember, remember. But remember that one that they did and you could see her in the reflection of the fucking there was like a gold plate on the door and like there's a scene where they open the door and you could literally see taylor swift in the reflection sitting on the couch and then remember everyone was like they are dating i fucking saw her and then they had to come on and tell everyone they were dating because they fucking figured it out do you remember that shit what skit was it do you remember i it was probably one of those it was like one where joe was like being crazy he was always the one that was like you know throwing shit or like acting crazy or whatever but, like, dude, the way that, like, the detective work is unmatched when it comes to a fangirl is, like, I tip my hat to them, honestly. I really do. Shut up. It's just they're doing, like, this FBI-level work, and it's hilarious. It literally changed the trajectory of their, like, relationship, if you think about it. Yeah. Because it made them have to come forward and tell people that they were dating. It's just fucking nutty. That's so crazy to think about. But yeah, anyways. You said it was over. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when that when that TikTok was going viral again, uh, I could not stop singing that. Like I just kept playing it every time and then every time it was quiet, I would play it and Billy was like, please stop. <laughs> you said it was over. And it's like the fact that he's singing it to his like Instagram story. Like he knew it was I don't know what's more embarrassing, like pub- publicly posting that or like sending it to someone in private and then posting it after. Like, I don't know. I don't know which one's more embarrassing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Duh. I don't know which one's more embarrassing to you. Me posting, me sending it to someone and then posting it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you think so? Like I sent it to you because I thought it looked hot. <laughs> and then you're going to, why are you posting it? Because it's embarrassing. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that's way more embarrassing because i think i just think no, that it's like you're sending that in private to someone <laughs> like i would have more respect for it if he posted it himself i'd rather have a nude come out yeah <laughs> <laughs> then i'd rather have so i'd rather someone literally see me in the nude than see me do that <laughs> in <laughs> private what's more embarrassing that or the like are you gonna show me how you squirt or not? Because <laughs> one is public and one is in private. No, but see, he, yeah, but see, we sent that privately and she posted it. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Would I rather someone see me trying to be hot singing a song that I perform and then post it pr- publicly, or would I rather? A private Snapchat video. <laughs> or, uh, are you trying to show me how you squirt or what? And then it's just like, or, and then does he know that squirt? That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> does 
<laughs> you know that 90% of that's piss? It is. I know that. Oh, yes. Did you want... That's piss. The clips from the basement yard that's Joe Santa got. That's his podcast with his friend. I always oh, yeah. They're it. so funny. The, there's a group... What is having a brain malfunction? There's a clip that just went viral where they're like, oh, yeah. Did you know that they finally um, detected that score is just piss? Oh, I haven't seen that one. No. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, and then Joe's like, that's fine. I don't want that on my bed. That's gross. Why would I want to make a girl do that? Gross. <laughs> Whatever your pleasure is, I no, guess. He's just saying, like, he's never made a girl. <laughs> he's like, that's why I don't do it. <laughs> yeah. It's it's purely because I knew that it was urine. That's so. what they were both saying. So That's so funny. funny. I saw the one of them. They're so funny, but I, the one of them arguing about pop tarts. Yeah. What's your favorite pop tart? Brown sugar, easily. Yuck. I think easily. I think wild berry or strawberry. You would say strawberry, and then you have to take the crust off. Too much crust. See what I mean? <laughs> you see what I have to deal with? You don't pick the crust off. Do you guys see what I have to live with all the time? So you'd be in the car eating them, and I'd pick all the crust off, and then I would give Drew the crust. Just like the pizza. <laughs> I'm a crust eater. What can I say? I do. I just have weird eating habits. I've just never yeah, liked stuff like that. <laughs> maybe. What's maybe another one? The fact that you have to eat your fries last. That's the best part of the meal. <laughs> That's the best part of the meal. She literally has to eat them last. Like she will not. Like if she has a hamburger, like in a restaurant, bro. Like she'll have a hamburger, her little impossible burger. She'll eat the entire burger and then she'll like be like, and then start eating the fries. <laughs> don't do that. She swears. No, I do eat them last. <laughs> I don't do the fucking thing with my hands. I'm just saying I I watch you ready yourself to eat your fries. Okay. Well, I do that, and then with each chomp that Drew takes of her meal, she takes a big swig of Diet Coke. I fucking Coke. knew she was um, going to so say that. I guess to each their own, you're right. <laughs> I literally fucking knew. Every, and then uh, the way drink, I knew, the minute I brought up the fries, the way I knew she was getting ready to say the drink. Every drink runs out, she's like, Donovan, go get me a refill, and she won't eat until the drink. I, li- I can't. I literally can't eat without a drink, and everybody knows this about me. I think- That's my journey to take. <laughs> I literally have, I I can't explain it. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but like when I eat too much or like when I'm eating. Yeah. It feels like you're choking. I feel that. Yeah. I know. I feel like it gets stuck right here and then I'm going to throw up. And then I feel like if, if I don't drink enough to like lubricate my throat, I feel like I'm going to throw up and I don't want to feel like that when I'm eating. So now, I mean, that could just purely be my mental illness. Maybe that's because you used to choke a lot when you were little. So maybe you start, that's what you started. Maybe. Maybe. But I did it even then. So what was my excuse then? You know what I mean? Like <laughs> my mom said, our grandpa eats like that. Too. He does. <laughs> my my grandfather and I have a lot in common. <laughs> like like genuinely, so much in common. But yeah, Dayson does that. She like see her fries last. That's not that weird. Because that's her. Do you save your favorite part for last? I disagree. I'm a big like eat it eat it like together one 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 one, yeah. one 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 i'm a big fan of that i also when i eat like anything i chew i have to split it evenly on both sides of my mouth that's kind of weird yeah i think that's mental <laughs> <laughs> just like mine is too that's why i said the way some of the, oh okay here's one with for me i like when i eat i cannot eat something and like end on sweet yeah I can't like I when I like for example like when I tell people that they go what about dessert I'm like what about it I'll eat it and then I have to eat something salty. Just eat one chip. (laughs) It's disgusting. (laughs) What the fuck is that? I she'll be like at like for summer she's like do you think you have anything salty and well for what? I literally like will go look for something like if I'm in the house but not like it's not because she's still hungry she just doesn't like how it tastes. I just can't I just can't end on sweet I don't know. That's mental illness. Like, it has to do with my mental illness. I'm, like, convinced it has to do with my mental illness. Because that's weird. Like, there's just no way. Just one chip to clear the palate. Yeah, like, it's done. like a palate cleanser. Like, I have to end on salty. I don't know what it is. Like, if sometimes if I, like, there's nothing around me, I, like, <laughs> I have to, like, actively, like, not freak out about it. Like, I'm constantly thinking, like, it's okay. I'll find something eventually. Oh, my God. Like, for example, <laughs> when we were in New York... Mm-hmm. After Black Adam, we had like some, I had some like Italian. meetings and stuff, yeah. and we were staying in um, the Meatpacking District, right next to the Chelsea Market. 
So we oh, went. Oh my god, those dumplings. Oh no, the dumplings are in Brooklyn. I'm sorry. Yeah, those were in Brooklyn. No, when we were in Chelsea, we went to the Chelsea market. We were, thought we wanted to eat lunch, but we we're like, oh, maybe we'll eat later. And so we just had pastries. Oh yeah. Okay. So we had sweet stuff, and I had coffee, and that's all I had. And then I, my pastry was really sweet, like a lot sweeter than I thought it was going to be. And then I was like, I need something else to eat. Like, and nobody had anything salty. We all got sweet stuff. And so Billy literally walked with me to another place so I could go look for a bag of chips. It's ridiculous. And I literally walked around for like, I'm not even kidding, like 20 minutes. I know, for they were, you guys were gone for a long time. Yeah, and then I finally found something and Dason was like, okay. Dason was like, grab me one too while you go. I'm like, okay. I love chips. <laughs> she does love a good chip. And I should have just gotten one because we didn't even finish our no. chips. They were too big. But they didn't have them in, you know what I mean? Like and little small. they were small. too salty, too much. They were very salty. But like, I just like couldn't, I couldn't do it. I had to go. Look but for if something. you eat something salty, you don't need to end on something sweet, right? No. It's only sweet. I don't know what it is about that. Like, it's just like it It takes over my whole brain. I can't think about anything else. I'm like, I need a chip. And I'll just eat one. Pop it in the mouth. I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, you noticed. But, like, when I eat food, like, at a restaurant, like, if we're at Islands, for example. Ooh, I'll like, I love Islands. We love Islands. I'll, like, eat my, I'll eat my sandwich, right? My, like my burger or whatever okay. and then i'll eat my fries i'm like nang, 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 but one one and the other mm-hmm. and then i'll leave some of my fries because i know i'm gonna have dessert and then i eat my dessert and then i eat my fry <laughs> that makes me sick i like if i get dessert i literally set aside something so that i can make sure to have something salty did you do that at that italian restaurant we ate at yeah what did you have I had like a, there was like bread and stuff next to me. <laughs> You're gross. <laughs> like makes me itchy. I literally have to. I like can't not do it. I wonder if grandpa does that too. Yeah, huh? Because he does have a sweet tooth. Mm-hmm. But I'm, but see, that's why I love treats like chocolate covered pretzels but like the flips because it's the perfect balance yeah or i was gonna say like sea salt and chocolate i don't like sea salt what hot take i don't really like sea salt it's too salty it's too much the ocean i don't want that yeah too much but like salted caramel i don't even like that like it's just too much for me i don't like caramel on its own if it's in stuff maybe but yeah i feel that like i wouldn't go look for it on its own but then like i love a like a butter croissant those are my new hyperfixation right now, butter croissants, because they're like the perfect breakfast food to me because they're not too salty, but they're not too sweet right in the middle. I'm all about balance. <laughs> okay. Well, I know on this one, this was from Skylar. Okay. And she put, why am I the only one that's popping my fucking pussy right now? <laughs> Mom, get off your phone. Come on. <laughs> why am I the only one that's popping my fucking pussy right now? <laughs> You know what? I will not. Um, I can't think of another sound, but I will say a TikTok that Dason showed me that la- I laughed really hard at, and it was that guy saying that um, Euphoria was absolutely filmed in the IE <laughs> in the Inland Empire. That is so he fucking said, funny. You don't find all those girls from the show all the way from Pomona to Marino Valley. <laughs> you're so you're so, you're so right real for that. that you're so real for that it's fucking true I like know. the way that maddie is for sure an ie girl it's yeah. like not even funny her especially but same with like nate like i would like yeah there's, there's like some and like, rue out here yeah yeah mm-hmm. cat like those are even even cassie cassie, cassie yeah. would be like an implant like yeah. someone who moved to the ie but wasn't like A didn't grow plant. up yeah oh what did I say? Implant? Oh, whoops. Yeah, I meant transplant. <laughs> yeah, she like moved from like Orange County yeah. to the Inland Empire. All of the the show, I could see it happening at one of the high schools that was near us. Absolutely. <laughs> when I was in high school. Yeah. Not the one, Absolutely. Not the one we went to because there wasn't nearly that many Falangi, uh, white kids, but yeah. definitely... If you, can you think of the high Some school? of the kids would have gone to our school and been involved in the oh, drums. Think so? I think so, yeah yeah okay i think so i don't know (laughs) like the the guy that um deals not deals drugs that's fez but um the other guy the one that sang the song and everybody was eating him up i know it's dominic fike i can't think of his name yeah Yeah. him like he for sure would go to our school 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah I he for sure would have gone to my high school. Like, <laughs> absolutely he would have. That's why, like, that that TikTok was so fucking funny because you're so real for that. It's true. If you're from the IE, you know. Maddie, f- Maddie for sure lived in Riverside. Yeah. She absolutely did. Like, I her, agree. everything about her attitude and, like, how she sees the world and shit. Like, how she handles conflict. Yeah. Me, honestly. Riverside girly, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, literally. Just an IE girl through and through. They go to Mojo's before they go to school, for sure. Yeah, they go to Burger Basket. <laughs> they go to the Lucky Greek <laughs> on late start days. You know what I mean? They go to Miguel's Jr. Yeah. They ditch school and go to Miguel's Jr. Yeah. What else did we do? Go to Yogurt Land. That was a big one. They go to the movies. Tyler Mall? Yeah. My IE baddies rise up. You're telling me that they all don't hang out at Tyler Mall? Come on now. Eating in the food court and then going to the movies? Yeah. That's what I'm For saying. For sure. For sure, bro. For sure. Took their prom pics at Dos Lagos. We all know. <laughs> we all know the vibes. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know because I did it. Yeah. I was one of them. <laughs> when I was in high school. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's what I'll end on. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Two Idiot Girls. We have decided right now that we want all of you for next week to send in your favorite fan fiction, like a synopsis of yeah. your favorite fan fiction or a synopsis of one that you wrote. And why, and why it's your favorite and or the vibes for when you wrote it. And are you embarrassed that you read it or wrote it? Okay. <laughs> the answer is always yes, but it's okay. It's nice. It's a safe you're, space. S- you're safe here because we... Um, when I say we, I mean me. I wrote one, so there you go. Yeah, I did. But we'll talk about it more on the next step. Like, thinking of me reading it on my phone, like, on Tumblr, like, smiling to myself makes <laughs> my butthole hurt. Dude, come on. I know. I'm not proud of it, but it's a part of me, POV, and that's okay. POV, you're on your period. YN, on your period. And Liam does something really nice for you, because I always read Liam That's once. what you should be most embarrassed of. Is is you were reading Liam fanfics and that's Liam what sent you a, a video message because you had a bad day and I open it and it's you said it was over <laughs> <laughs> and that's your cross to bear. I've been a hairy girl through and through. I was when I was younger. We all do things. We're I not picked. Proud of. I picked the right one from the jump. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, other than that, don't forget we are going on tour. Woo! Tickets are selling out, so make sure you go to twoidiotgirls.com to buy your tickets to come yes. see us. Four shows in January. We're going to kick off the new year with all of y'all. It's going to be so fun. We start in San Diego, then Anaheim, then Los Angeles, and San Francisco, all in California. There you go. And all of you have been sending in your favorite or places you want us to visit, and I have been writing them down. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. We're taking note, but we're very, very excited for our West Coast baddies to come see us it's gonna be super duper fun i'm very excited i know so other than that um you can always like always listen to the audio version everywhere you can stream podcasts and then you can watch the video version on our youtube channel yes we love you and we'll see you next week bye bye